Today, we'll find out if the gas station warnings are true. Can static electricity, leaving your engine running, also using your cell phone, and even smoking cause an explosion? Well, we'll perform many more tests other than that and we'll do it safely. So please don't try any of this at home. Here are the gas station warnings. Static electrical spark explosion hazard. Static and electrical sparks may cause vapor to explode. Do not get back in your vehicle while refueling. Reentry could cause static electric spark. Discharge potential static buildup by touching the car metal away from the fueling point with your bare hand before touching the fueling nozzle. Turn off cellular phones and Filling plastic containers in a plastic bed liner could also cause vapors to ignite. So you saw us fill it up on the ground, then we placed it back in the vehicle. You didn't see us touch the metal, however we did. Now we're using a material that's great for creating static electricity. Here we'll try to make these fuel vapors ignite. However, we do try this much more than what you're able to see here. And in this particular case, we're unable to do so. Maybe you can give us some helpful ideas. Now, we'll try this smoke the same as well. We have a measuring tape out. This way we're able to measure how far away we can cause it to ignite. However, we're getting plenty enough close. As you can saw, I'm even trying to trap as many vapors as I can inside. And we even put the smoke out in the gas itself and it still didn't ignite but don't try any of this because you may not be as lucky and you can see i'm showing the temperature and humidity because it does make a big difference especially static electricity because most of it occurs during the winter times because the humidity greatly affects it if it's more wet outside then it's less likely but you never know and you can see this match isn't setting it off until I drop it. Once it gets so close, it definitely goes off. But what would you expect? And now I take away the air from the fire to put it out. You can see that it was vapor locked once I shut it when it burned all the air up. Now we'll see how close we can get this flame. And we're getting down to about an inch away and it ignites still better than I thought it would be here we're going to see about the engine now you know once gasoline gets so hot it will auto ignite however this does take quite a bit of temperature as in a few hundred degrees now you definitely don't want to allow this to happen so we'll raise it up and see just how high we can get it safely. We'll monitor the temperature. As I said, I've cut a lot of this out because I don't want to bore you guys to death. And just because I have some success here doesn't mean you should try it. As always, guys, I want to thank you for watching Nate's Interactive Auto. Be safe.